Apparently, if a, if a, a magazine like this magazine, which is the New Scientist, this is one from two months ago, apparently, if they put the word quantum on the cover, like this one has, your quantum mind, it immediately increases the sales because everyone thinks that quantum is something really interesting. So I'm going to call this video something like Quantum Intuition and <laughs> see if it gets more hits. But um, it's a really interesting article actually in this about this quantum mind because it's not the usual thing about um, you know quantum physics and whether in microtubules of the brain all that kind of stuff. It's more about the mathematics that underpins quantum physics or that the quantum physics applies and the mathematics of uh, well, speculative mathematics of human cognition really. Because what it's saying there is that the you know, quite apart from the, the, the physics of, of, of the quantum world, the mathematics which underpins that actually precedes it, and it cites David Hilbert, the mathematician David Hilbert, as one of the, 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 uh, the people who developed the mathematics, which was subsequently, as I say, applied to the physics. Um, and it's just suggesting that suddenly the, the, the way that the mind works is um, a, a cause to that kind of mathematics. You know, if you wanted to work out... A, to, to calculate, if that's the right word, how the mind is working, then something like the mathematics of David Hilbert ultimately applied to quantum physics. But I think it calls quant uh, quantum interaction, I think is the word they, they use, then it, it might be more appropriate. And it gives one or two suggestions. But I've been thinking about that in terms of um, intuition, because I guess I've been making quite a few videos and thinking quite a bit about intuitions in the plural recently. Um, because it seems to me that, you know, that when I'm op operating rationally, or when most of us are operating rationally, the, what that often means is a kind of measuring of the situation using, um, you know, pretty much Aristotelian kind of logic, the logic of a kind of mathematics which is based on whole numbers. I, I don't know if I'm making any sense here, but, you know, in which 2 plus 2 always equals 4 and when which something is either in a category or is not in a category. It obeys all those kind of logics, to do the, the laws of thought, you know, the laws of identity and non-contradiction and law of excluded middle and all that kind of, the logic of middle-sized objects moving at middle speed. And you know, that, that seems to me the kind of maths that's in play with rational thought. You know, something is either, it either is or it isn't. It either exists or it doesn't exist. It's either true or it's false. You know, that's, you know, that's a necessary and useful way of thinking about the world that we habitually move around in. Um, and that, as I say, the mathematics supports that. And, you know, the, con the con conventional mathematics that we learn at school con uh, completely supports that. But other kinds of mathematics work differently, don't they? And the kind of mathematics that Hilbert developed and that subsequently was used in quantum physics is different and um, it, it still it, it tells deep truths about the world and isn't as accurate as other kind of mathematics but it doesn't operate in that kind of Aristotelian way it operates um, well most most logic uh, most um, readily I suppose it operates probabilistically um, and probable and, and probabilities isn't something that our rational mathematical mind uh, senses easily I don't think or at least we can we can do the maths on it, but in terms of um, oh God, I can't really explain what I mean. I suppose all I'm saying really is that maybe, maybe this the kind of intuitive senses that we get, you know, knowing something without knowing how you know, whether it be having a vague sense of the direction that you have to drive in, or a vague sense of what time it is, even though you don't know why you know what time it is, or a sense of knowing what the other person feels, all those other kind of intuitive things that we have, intuitive senses. I mean, maybe what's happening there is that it's the application of a kind of quantum interaction mathematics, which largely works with probabilities. You know, we're taking in all this data about what the time, the place, the person. We're taking in all this data. It doesn't provide simple 2 plus 2 equals 4 results. It provides probabilistic results. And we experience those probabilistic results as um, something we might call feelings, or a sense, or gut feelings, or intuitions, maybe. So maybe intuition is really a kind of quantum interaction. It's the embodiment of quantum intu uh, interaction in the brain. <laughs> Who knows?